14th is Flag Day, and, and what a wild one it's been. To honor this most hallowed day, we sent Mo Rocca to meet perhaps our country's greatest living freedom fighter. North Adams, Massachusetts, the morale is low here. The economy, gone bust. And all because the people here are denied one basic human freedom. For decades, Massachusetts has prohibited drinking while bowling, a right most Americans take for granted. And the Bay State's once proud alleys have died a slow death. But one maverick politician has decided to fight back. Massachusetts, birthplace of American independence, yet the bowling peoples of this state are not free to drink. Is this Dan Bosley's battle cry of bowling freedom? Well, freedom for those people who want to enjoy themselves in bowling alleys. Freedom for those people who think that there's nothing wrong with having a few beers. And freedom for those people who like to mix both beer and bowling. Give me beer and bowling or give me death? I, I couldn't say it any better myself. Massachusetts bowlers, desperate for freedom, have escaped along an underground railroad, arriving in New York, land of beer and bowling. But at what price freedom? As New York's lanes descend into a bowling Sodom and Gomorrah, traditionalists fear for the very future of their beloved sport. Duncan McPherson, do you think that drinkers who bowl threaten bowling's chance of becoming an Olympic sport? Uh, I think we have to work hard to overcome the idea that bowlers and beer go together. How does alcohol affect bowling? Well, I think if uh, they drink too much, it affects their average. But does it? The Daily Show conducted one of its scientific tests, pitting sober head-to-head -head against boozy. How is a bowler's performance affected after one beer? I think there's a slight diminishing in his capability to hit the mark that he's shooting for. After two beers. The bowler will start to miss a spare that he should have made. I thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll be back. After eight beers. After eight beers. You're definitely illegally drunk. Who wants one? I'm mine. Hey, you think you're doing? Get my damn beer. Haven't you drank enough already? <laughs> and at what point does the bowler start choking on his own vomit? Probably after that 13th beer. between Sober and Boozer is Boozer! Yeah, baby! Our test results speak loud and clear. Drinking while you bowl actually improves your score. More fuel for Dan Bosley's unquenchable fight for freedom. Do you love bowling? I love bowling. Do you love beer? I love beer. Do you, Dan Bosley, love America? I love America. Thanks, Dan! Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. God bless you, Dan Bosley. God bless you. Let that be a lesson to the kids out there. We'll be right back. <laughs>